Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video. I will be creating this beautiful pink and purple look for you guys. I had so much fun filming this look, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will not be talking too much on this video, so you guys can enjoy it. And remember to subscribe, like, share, and leave me a comment if you like this video. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you at the end of the video. Enjoy. So now I'm going to use my concealer to prime my eyes and I am using a concealer from MAC and the brush that I'm using it is from Juvia's Place. Next I'm going to blend my eyeshadow and I say eyeshadow, my concealer and I'm using a Morphe brush. Okay you guys, so today I'm going to use some tape because I want the eyeshadow to be um, the outer corner of my eyes to be super sharp so I figure I'll just use some tape and it makes it easier for you you know where to place the eyeshadow if you're not a pro I think that is the best technique for you so this is all the eyeshadow palette that I will be using I'm using the darker purple and I'm going to place it in the outer corner of my eyes in a V shape and I am using a Morphe brush to do that. And I'm just going to blend. I'm just going to pack it on my outer corner. I'm not going to blend it. I'm just going to pack it. So the color can stay and pigment it. Okay. I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm doing with the eyes. And after that, I will see you guys at the end of the video because it's pretty much the same thing that I'm going to do, my foundation and contour, highlight. So you guys already know the drill, so I'm not going to be talking too much. I'm just going to explain to you guys how I achieve the eye look, okay? So now I'm just doing the same thing for the other eye. I'm just going to pack my, ash, my eyeshadow in the outer corner. So now I'm moving on to my culture palette and I'm going to use this pink. This eyeshadow is so beautiful. Um, and I'm just going to put it halfway on my eyelid because I'm going to place another lighter pink in the... in the inner corner of my eyes, okay? And I'm using a Juvia's Place brush. I actually really like Juvia's Place brushes. They are soft and they are not too harsh on your eyelid or your face. So I really love um, Juvia's Place brushes right now. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just packing the pink eyeshadow halfway to my eyelid and now I'm just trying to connect the purple and the pink together giving it an ombre kind of look so now I'm just going to take a lighter pink and I'm just going to put it in the outer corner of my eyes not the outer corner <laughs> forgive me you guys I'm so tired today and I'm just going to do the same thing for the other eyes this look is super easy especially if you use the tape it, you're going to see the line is sharp and you just Pack the eyeshadow on your eyelid and that's pretty much it and then you blend the edge of the pink eyeshadow and the purple and then you pretty much done so 
so next i'm going to take this beautiful color it is a mauve color and i think the palette is the name of the palette is the mauve palette and i'm just going to blend the edge of the pink eyeshadow and i'm using a morphe brush a blending brush So I'm just blending, but I tried not to touch the pink eyeshadows. I'm just blending the edge so I can make it um, sim sim seamless. I think that's how you say it, right? Okay. So next I'm going to take the lighter purple so I can blend the edge of the purple eyeshadow now. And again, I'm not touching the dark purple. I'm just blending the edge, okay? And I'm using a M506 Morphe brush to do that because you need a smaller brush. And now I'm just going to line, um, I'm not going to do a ring liner because I don't want it to be a thick liner. So I'm just going to line where I'm going to put my false lashes because I don't want nothing to show. So that is the reason that I line my, um, my top lashes. And I'm using a liquid liner. And I take my time because you know the eyeshadow is pink. I didn't want it to get into it. So we messed, messed up our look. So now I'm just going to remove my tip. You see how sharp it is? Yes. So now I'm just wiping away the any fallout that I have. And that is why when I'm using um, eyeshadows, many times I'll do my foundation last because... If there's fallout without foundation, you can fix it. But with foundation, it's hard to fix. So now I'm just going to put on my false lashes. And I am using my tweezer. Of course, that's what I use all the time. And the lashes that I'm using, it is Kiss Lashes. And I'm taking my time because I want my lashes to be as close as possible to my natural lash. Just going to do the same thing for the other eyes. So now I'm going to move on um, to my face. And I'm not going to be talking as much because it's the same thing that I will usually do. I'm using my favorite moisturizer. It is the Nivea. And I'm just going to put it all over my face. You need a moisturizer all the time. Now I'm going to move on to my favorite primer. It is from e.l.f. I love this primer because it gives you like a glow. So when you put on your foundation, you have a, a glow peeking through your foundation. And it is so beautiful. Actually, I have to buy a new one. I put too much on my face. I have to buy a new one because it's almost finished. Okay, so now I'm moving on to foundation and I spit this part. And I'm going to let you guys enjoy this video. Continue to watch. You will love the final look. I promise. And I will see you guys at the end of the video. Okay.
okay guys that is the final look i hope you guys like this look as much that i enjoy filming this look for you guys and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel and put your notification bell on so you can be updated when i post a new video and remember to like this video leave me a comment down below let me know you were here okay let me know kindly just let me know you were here i would really appreciate it and if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and thank you guys so much for watching i love you for watching and i will see you all on my next video bye